So I'm out here today, early in the morning here. It got chilly a little bit overnight. And I'm standing here in front of my pear tree, which is just loaded with pears. I'm gonna pan down and pan up. Now these are just the ones you can see from the front side, but there's more on the other side. It's important to pick your fruit, and the reason that you wanna pick your fruit is to keep the tree healthy. When you don't pick your fruit and you let it all fall and you leave it lay, you have parasites, bugs, pathology, uh, pathological entities that accumulate in the soil and around the tree causing disease. But you also trigger the tree not to produce as much fruit. So it's important that you pick your fruit. And it's important that you pick it at the right time. And the way you can tell when to pick it is when it's easy, just take it and you pick it and uh, rather than having to tug at it. And usually I wait until we get a, a cooler stretch of weather, which is what's happening right now. So I thought that this would be a great time to just come out and do some picking. So there's a couple things that you wish to do. Have a container that you can pick. Make sure that you pick the fruit that has fallen and already the critters have grabbed a couple. I saw a couple of the ground squirrels running around with pears in their in their mouths. So they, they you know, they're, that's your best indicator. When the animals know to pick, it's time to pick. Now this one's gonna need a good pruning after I'm done picking, and I may wait until the leaves go here in a little, in a, probably in a couple of weeks, and I'll start pruning off again. And uh, so I thought I'd share this uh, right now this video this morning, you know, the sun's behind me So I think that you can probably see a little bit uh, better here Regarding the picking and I've brought out a container and th this tree is just loaded with uh, With fruit and it's good sized fruit. I've had this this pear tree for quite a while and the the fruits are very large and they got that nice golden uh, brown on them brown on them right now. Uh, I can see a couple of them the bugs have got to, but we'll just discard those. And there's a lot of things that you can do with the pears. You know, you can slice them, you can bake them, you can turn them into turnovers, you can make jelly with them, and you can also make fruit compost, uh, which is another good thing to put together. You know, mix some varying fruits, including the pears. So, without much ado here, I'm going to step over and start to pick some here. I'll pick a few. I'm not gonna have you endure me standing here picking fruit for 25 minutes, but I just wanted to uh, make a few points regarding why it's important to pick them, why it's important to pick them off the ground, why it's important to dispose of the fruit that is not edible. And sometimes I'll even leave a couple out for the critters since they've come to depend on the uh, fallen fruit, although they pick, they pick the fruit themselves. So here we go. So right here, I've got quite a bit of fruit and they're just coming right off. Some of them are, are quite, quite large, as you can see. There's many right here. Just we'll start picking some off. I see the hornets are are here also. Trying to get a little sugar from them. I hope I don't end up stirring them up. Too much. There's a nice size one. There's 
knocked one down there. But you have to be careful that you don't shred the the uh, runners, the fruit runners, uh, to harm the tree when you're doing this. But already, just in that quiet moment there, I have so many, so many pears, and there's plenty on this side over here and still in the back and some right at my feet. And so that's the reason that you make sure that you pick your fruit. You know, what's the point of having fruit trees if you don't tend to them? And it's, uh, it's a nice bounty and you know where they where your fruits coming from and you can use the you know you can use a regular apple peeler a hand crank one to take the skins off of these uh, as you bake them or slice them or add them to salads that type of thing so here we are again out here in one of my gardens this happens to be one of my fruit tree gardens and I hope you enjoyed seeing this. I hope you learned a little bit. Hope you enjoy this day. It's going to warm up. We've got some cooler weather coming our way, some true fall weather, 60-40 weather that's coming along. So remember to be kind to one another and help your neighbor if you can. Good speaking with you. Thanks for spending some time. And they're just <laughs> a quick pick. We got all those. All right, we'll see you now.